Okay, this is it, the moment of decision. When I realized I'd get to do the Celestial Bowl, I went and watched a bunch of videos, thankfully in advance, of the different characters and their interactions to help me decide who I would want to go with. I really do like the idea of going with Andre. It's kind of fun. When you're a Ravenclaw, I have to ask um, everyone out there if this is true in other houses, but I am a Ravenclaw, like Andre, and in Transfiguration, I get to have interactions with him, and he'll say funny little things like, stop staring, and like, just like, there's the owl opera, owl to opera glasses one, and he'll just like, say funny things about his owl and things, anyway, you'll have to tell me if that's true for you guys too, um, but unfortunately, in this quest, <laughs> I wasn't at a level four for our friendship and so I had to tell him (laughs) that he wasn't my favorite Quidditch player. Not that I really even know who would my favorite Quidditch player be, honestly. You only get to watch yourself. I am on the Ravenclaw Quidditch team, by the way, which is another unfortunate thing that I don't even get to see Andre on my team with me because they make Quidditch the same between the houses, you know, like I don't believe Gryffindor see Charlie. Anyway, so he was so disappointed. He was all like, you were just buttering me up. And I felt so bad. So I think because of that awkward interaction, I didn't really feel like I could take him. And so instead, I feel like my character is going to feel more confident taking Ben. And so that's going to be the plan. But I must confess, I really look forward to breaking the dear bloke's heart in the first date side quest, because (laughs) let's be real, I really don't plan on pursuing this further. And so sorry in advance Ben but (laughs) not exactly interested in you just going with you because I feel like that would be make the most sense so here goes Whatever you want to see me about, it can't be good. What would make you think that, Ben? The saying is, good things come to those who wait. But I only arrived here a moment before you, and I haven't had to wait at all. I wanted to see you about the Celestial Ball. I don't have a date yet. I know, and you know I don't have one either. We've spoken of it many times. I suppose there is a solution. Perhaps not. We haven't come up with one yet. Um, well, I'm not going with anyone, and you're not going with anyone, so... I'm terrified to do this, but, Alina, you wouldn't want to go to the Slisht Ball with me, would you? Yes, I would love to go with you, Ben. Yes, you'll be my date. I was prepared for a no. Now I have no idea what to do next. Next we go to the ball. We'll have a great time together. You were my first choice as a date from the moment you convinced me to go to the ball, Lena. But I couldn't get the nerve to let you know it. I've been so anxious about this dance too. I suppose we should go and start getting ready. I have no idea what to expect tonight at the ball. Fear of the unknown. I know the feeling. Let's talk about it. Sorry, Ben. Don't quite have feelings for you. Just felt most confident asking you. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) No, apparently not. Which I think is silly. I think they would be. (laughs) 
I could talk about this all night, but we really do have to go and get ready for the ball. I know you've seen my outfit, but I can't wait to see yours. Yes, I'm about to go choose my outfit in the Great Hall right now with Andre, who I really want to be going to the ball with. All right, that's it. We found out what he said. Hello, Andre. Wish you were my date. <coughs> Andre, I was just in here. How did you get everyone out of here and all the setup with the ball starting soon? Hmm, magic? No, my goggle gave me the boot from my classroom. She needed it for a class. The nerve of her shutting down your style headquarters. Our friends were quite cooperative about clearing out and helping me set this up when they heard it was for you. All for me? That's so nice of everyone. And Andre, you're incredible. Look at these outfits. I'd be lucky to wear any of them to the celestial ball. But you can only choose one of them, so start trying them on. And hurry, I didn't tell McGonagall I was moving style headquarters into the Great Hall. This started as a hobby, now you've made a stylist out of me. The attention to detail is incredible. Who wore best? Not a celebrity, you! Oh, Andre, you're too nice to me. You're lucky you... And I'm going to Ben for all of you, going with Ben for all of you so you can see this, but man, he is too nice. Oh, and I'll have to show you guys, because in our flying class that I just went to, he was like, you look great, Alina, and I was like, This is it. We get to choose our outfit. I'm going to try them on in order. I do like this one. I feel like... I really like the stars. It obviously matches the theme. I feel like I would have chosen this one when I was younger. This definitely would have been maybe what I would call my go-to. Um, but nowadays, I actually wear lighter colors compared to when I was younger. So I think that's just a little dark. That's kind of how I feel about this one too. It's because also when I was younger, I used to wear a lot more red and this is like a nice dark red and I would have loved this one. But yeah, as I say, my style has changed since I was younger and since I go with lighter stuff, none of these really completely fit the bill for being light, but I feel like this last one comes the closest. I really like the little flower petal detail for the sleeves, for the hem, and so it comes closest to what I would want. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with it. It's pretty. This is it. Oh, Andre, I can't stand it. You're too nice to me. <laughs> There we go. Part three complete. We did it.
So I have an interesting story for you guys about this part. So if you've joined and started Hogwarts Mystery recently like me, you'll notice that we don't have all the side quests that the players used to. And so it leads to annoying <laughs> scenes like this that make no sense because we haven't done the Bill has a secret where he confesses his feelings only Tyler to us and we mm -hmm. go and tell her and then she's like, oh, I would never date the Weasley, they're too poor, which then leads to him treating her the way that he does in this scene and it makes so much more sense when you know all that there's another um side quest that i have not gotten to do it's called penny for your thoughts and it involves penny telling you about this childhood uh event where a friend of hers was eaten by a werewolf it's really depressing anyway and in but i got to see <laughs> an effect of that in the Patronus quest because when Penny encounters the Dementor, if you ask her what did you hear, she says a wolf's howl and a girl's scream, which is referencing this painful memory which sometimes happens when you encounter Dementors. And so anyway, that's for those that haven't um, or maybe just asked a different question than the Patronus quest that does come up in the later side quests and so I am disappointed uh -huh. by Jam City for not um, uh, adequately, I don't know, having all the side quests ready because they've, as they've been pulled for adjusting and I'm like okay we'll finish adjusting them already so we can all do them. Anyway, that's my little story. I get some amusement out of this. Oh, Bill. I have to say that in my earlier years, probably year two when you meet him, that I totally have a crush on Bill, but it's funny because then in year three when he becomes a prefect and he gets all like full of himself, that kind of was like the biggest turn off for me. <laughs> Anyway. Yes, Dumbledore, he did, and he did a fabulous job, I have to say. <laughs> oh, Barnaby, he is good for a good laugh.
<laughs> well, I do believe I could have picked better, but really, as I say, I wish that they made it so that they could show more initiative. I wonder if the first date one is more like that. <laughs> I love this part because I feel like I just kind of like oh I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that because you clearly have more feelings for you than I do more feelings for me than I have for you <laughs> so I like how I just kind of oh I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that and that's it we finished it let me know what you liked in the comments <laughs> it's my first time really so and share your videos if you've made some. I'd love to see them. <laughs>